This is the I Love Mom collection. It launched on Valentine's Day, also my 11 year anniversary of this YouTube channel, and it is an ode to Mama Maples. This shirt is not only cute, it is also sustainable. It's made from 100% recycled cotton, and after many years when you're done with your piece, there's an awesome recycling program so that this shirt can get turned into more shirts in the future so it never hits the landfill. And possibly the most exciting, because I am a scrunchie lover, these are scrunchies that are made from fabric scraps, and they're also made in Canada. And there's even more pieces over on the website. So if you have a spare second, you should go check them out. Okay, you guys, today we are doing a very exciting video. We are going to be testing one star reviews for the luxury celebrity, most expensive grocery store in America, Air One. Now I didn't honestly know about this until I started to hear about this $18 smoothie and they like collab with celebrities on smoothies. But this grocery store has actually been around for a really long time. It's certified organic and it's a certified B Corp and it's just really aesthetically pleasing to look at. But with that, everything is super expensive. And with anything popular like this, there's gonna be mixed reviews. Some people are gonna absolutely love it. Some people are gonna hate it. And I've been really enjoying Ryan Trahan's videos where he tests one star reviewed things, which we are no stranger to testing low rated items, but we have never tested ratings for a grocery store. And I have no idea if there's gonna be any interest in this video, but I'm making it anyways. So I went through the Air One reviews and I picked out some one star reviews that we're gonna be putting to the test and see if my experience is similar to the people who wrote the reviews. Long wait times, rude staff, horrible parking. We're gonna see how it goes today. Okay, so as you can see, or maybe you cannot see, I'm in a parking garage. So today we are at Air One. Apparently it's a celebrity hotspot, so I'll keep my eyes peeled. And no, there aren't any Air Ones in Canada. I'm in California right now. So I went on the Google reviews and I found the one star reviews and I'm gonna put them to the test. So Orchid said, parking is a nightmare, point blank. This was a really common complaint that I saw in the reviews, not just for this Air One location, Location, but for multiples, I miraculously had a really okay time finding parking and by myself I mean my dad because he drove me because California traffic is the most frightening thing and I refuse to partake in it How was that dad? It was pretty good. It's pretty simple actually. It is Tuesday at about 1230 So I feel like it's not the high time I kind of feel like the weekends would be most popular So we were able to get a spot very easily, but the parking garage is still pretty full I'm actually kind of shocked and afraid to be honest because I was hoping coming midday on a Tuesday it wouldn't be super busy so I could film seamlessly in here but one thing California is it is busy so I don't know how this is gonna go but we're gonna get in there and we're gonna put my anxiety to the test are you kidding me right now it's January it's so nice it's like 20 degrees what a beautiful walk up to air one <laughs> two seconds later okay we were walking the wrong way <laughs> Victorio said, market was fairly nice. I didn't stay too long though due to the noise. I couldn't even hear my companion talk. Is there a way to make the music even louder, please? We have some sarcasm happening. Please make it so loud that you can't even hear your own thoughts. How about that? Victorio is sassing. Um, <laughs> it's really loud right now. Okay, so it definitely is super loud in here. The review was right, but it's not the music as much as it's the blender. The $18 smoothies probably make them a lot of money, but the atmosphere is loud. I would say the music was kind of standard of a hip and trendy grocery store. The problem was the blenders. We recorded with a little microphone, but then we also recorded on iPhone audio. Listen to this iPhone audio. Okay, so it definitely is super loud in here. The review was right. I honestly can't believe how loud the blenders were because I'm thinking back to Booster Juice, which I don't even know, is Booster Juice in America or is that a Canadian thing? They have the Vita Mix blenders, like the same blenders, but they have kind of like a sound guard that they push down, which muffles the sound. It's still somewhat loud, but it muffles it a little bit. I swear at Air One, they didn't have anything muffling the sound. So on one hand, it's kind of nice because it's so loud. You could be as loud as you want. You could straight up drop like a glass jar and it shatters and maybe nobody would even hear it. Equally, you could be trapped in the bathroom and like yelling for help and no one would hear you. So there's pros and cons to it being that loud. The music's loud in here, that's for sure. What's that? The music's loud in here. 
The next one was from Tammy. Tammy's a local guide, by the way. The drink, strawberry glaze, is okay, but take 20 mins to make, and I'm the only customer waiting. There are a lot of employees, but they are all talking and joking around while I'm waiting desperately for my order. One drink. And then we have a photo, and the drink looks really good in the photo, so they got it eventually. Okay, we're gonna go, and we're gonna order a strawberry glaze smoothie, because apparently it's gonna take forever, and the staff's gonna be mean to me. But we'll see. Hi, how are you? Good. I just dropped an almond crisp or chocolate croissant right now. Oh, oh no! So, yeah, I'm gonna just eat it on my break. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question about the strawberry glaze. Can I substitute the milk for something like yeah. an oat milk or a yeah, coconut? Yeah. You wanna do that? Yeah. Can I also get, can I get coconut? So I'm not allowed to alter that one. It is pretty slow right now, so I can ask. Did you want to do just like the um, vodka cup up there? That one will be free. Otherwise, I'd have to like, like a 60. Let's do that. Do that one. Yeah. Let me like double check and make okay, sure. Okay. Thank you. Guys. This is nice. Really nice. It's been very nice to us. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna start a stopwatch. We just ordered, let's see how long it takes. By the way, the guy was super nice. He said he dropped a croissant on the floor, so he's kind of stressed out, but it was okay because he was gonna eat it on his lunch break. Very relatable, very fun. For me, our two smoothies were $50 US. This smoothie better be amazing. Our skin better be good because of it. I can't imagine this audio or filming work could be good. <laughs> it's loud here though. It's so loud. <laughs> So then we went outside because there's like this patio area where you can eat the food. There's like kind of like a salad bar area and then also the drink area. So you can go outside and eat, which by the way, I did spot a celebrity and I did play it cool because I honestly didn't really care. <laughs> but I did see one. That's how you can handle it. Do it, tell me. Charlie Dark's daughter's outside. No! <gasps> what? Are you kidding? Cool. Okay, you guys, got the smoothie. It looks amazing, to be honest. I had to substitute it for oat milk. It's giving strawberry banana booster juice. Oh my gosh, it's so good. How is yours? I gotta try it. I'm going in. Like, it looks so pretty with this at the bottom. Right? Oh my gosh. Is it good? It's delicious. Can I try that it's one? absolutely delicious. Mine's amazing too. Can I try? <laughs> so good. <laughs> Haley did it right. We did the wrong thing and converted the money we spent to Canadian, and it ended up being for two smoothies $67 Canadian. What? So immediately I wanted to know what was in the smoothie. Okay, I'm gonna read the ingredients in mine. We had almond milk. I substitute for oat milk. Organic bananas, organic strawberries. Okay, everything says organic. Avocado, dates, maple syrup, vanilla collagen, stevia. Oh, there's stevia in this. That's kind of weird. I think that's kind of weird. When you already have so many sugars from fruit, you don't really need stevia. Right? I bet you it would be good without. Sea moss, organic coconut cream, and then organic strawberry glaze. Wow. I mean, if you put literally fruit and stevia in something, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be. I'm downing mine. Look at how much I drank already. It's so delicious. It's all gone. Okay, let me search yours. What was yours called? Rose something. Rose water, coconut milk, beet juice, Ooh. strawberry banana, goji berries, lukuma. I don't know what that is. Coconut cream and vanilla stevia. No wonder it's delicious. I saw like 16 year olds drinking smoothies and having salads. When I was 16, I never ever ever in a bazillion years would have been able to afford one of these smoothies. I'm actually shook that there are other people here. For a lot of people, it feels like a casual Tuesday. Like they potentially come here every day. Okay, but this isn't even what the review is. The review is that it took really long. So when I ordered it, I started a timer. It took about five minutes for the smoothie to be ready and there was a lot of people ordering. So I don't really know what happened in this instance because apparently there was a lot of people working but the smoothie took 20 minutes to make. I mean, I feel for Tammy, that would be frustrating but I don't think that would be the standard that happens there. It wasn't my experience anyway. I thought it was really interesting that it was a plastic cup. Is this a plastic straw? And when I was trying to find a recycling bin, there was no recycling. There was only garbages, which I thought was really weird because they're a B Corp. So I thought that they would care about the recycling program.
I did drink the smoothie so fast that I thought I was having an allergic reaction. I thought maybe they forgot to sub out the almond for the oat milk, but it turns out I was just downing it so fast. It was like making my throat hurt. Surely I'll know if I'm having an allergic reaction. Yeah, you would know, I think. Is your throat closing up? Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. No, I'm just like, I'm coughing. You're right. coughing a lot. <laughs> I honestly think I might have just drank it so fast. <laughs> Angel said, the staffs here are unfriendly and arrogant if you only buy something that is not that expensive. So we're obviously gonna test that in the only way we know how. Finding the cheapest thing in the entire store and checking out with only that. At this point, I was so stressed out. I don't know why, but Erwan was just making me very anxious. I'm feeling super anxious right now. I haven't felt anxiety like this in a really long time, but I'm gonna go and get in the lineup with all the really cool Instagram influencer looking people. Why are you looking over that way? <laughs> there are people watching? No, I just want to make sure. I literally feel like I'm like, I'm like doing something illegal. The way I'm so stressed out. You're making me nervous. I'm sorry. I'm already nervous. You know I'm not nervous at all about anything. Mom, I'm already filming in public. So my mom opted to test this next one. Okay, you guys, now we're gonna test if workers are mean when you buy something <laughs> cheap. We're gonna send mom in because I simply can't. I'm, I'm borderline having an allergic reaction, I think. <laughs> so we went and we found the cheapest thing in the entire store. We're on the hunt for something cheap. Oh, 99 cents. <laughs> I think I found it. I'm doing it. I'm literally gonna go buy this tiny little truffle treat. <laughs> How about mint truffle? <laughs> I'm going to take one of these, please. <laughs> oh, they're gonna be mean to you. You guys, we're a little bit concerned that you can't use a credit card for purchases this low. So if they say that, she's just gonna say, okay, never mind, and leave. <laughs> And then I'll never come back here again. <laughs> and then Mia will walk by with our shopping bags and go, big mistake, big, mistake. big Huge. <laughs> And she waited in that long line for checkout and this was her experience. Hi. Hi. Just this? Yeah. All right. Uh, it's going to be 99 yeah. cents. Okay. Go ahead. You're all set, okay? Awesome, okay, thank you. Are they mean to you? You know, she, okay, so I put the one thing down and it was kind of awkward, like it was silent and awkward. I put in my credit card and it went through and then she goes, okay, you're all good. And uh, so then I smiled really big at her because I was gonna burst out laughing. And then she goes, thanks, appreciated. And so then we went. So yeah, nice. so she was, at, she was actually weirded out visibly, but then I smiled and I was like gonna laugh and it went through and so I'm like, thanks. <laughs> I think she sensed I was so happy to buy this thing yes. that she's just like appreciated my business. She yeah. Was nice to you. Yeah, she was nice to me. And if anything, she was silent because she was just kind of like weirded, weirded out. out. <laughs> I weirded her out. <laughs> and I weirded myself out. Lapita said, very unfortunate sight of food waste of perfectly fresh veggies and fruits. It seems as if they dispose of unappealing produce instead of expiring produce. It is difficult to donate unappealing procedure. I think they meant to say produce. And attached are the photos outside of that Erewhon apparently, and they are full to the brim with produce. And that's so messed up. There are so many people and places that you can donate food to in California and just throughout the world. So the fact that they're just throwing it in the dumpster like this is, I mean, this is is actually very offensive. So the first thing I had to do was I had to find the dumpsters. Charging crazy amounts for a smoothie, okay fine. Throwing away good food, not on my watch. And also dumpster diving is illegal. So we're gonna go looking for their dumpster. I kind of feel like they've barricaded them over here. Maybe they saw the reviews and like created this fence. So I'm gonna go peer through the fence real quick and see if I can see their dumpsters. The problem is this is also connected to quite a few different stores like Macy's and TJ Maxx and stuff. But I'll just go peeking. There it is. I see it. I see the dumpster. Let's go. <clears throat> I'm just walking over to the dumpster. Nothing weird going on. Nothing weird at all. Okay, so basically in the photos, there was like literally fresh produce piled to the top of the dumpster. Doesn't look like that right now, but I'm still gonna open it and I'm gonna peek in. What if you see a rat? If I see a rat, then I see a rat. <laughs> Mom, I'm looking at one. <laughs> Oh, 
it was empty. <laughs> I can like hear movement. What? Mom, come here, there's a car coming. You can hear movement? Mom, pull it together. Okay. Pull yourself together. <laughs> there's so many cars. Why is there so many cars all of a sudden right when I'm trying to pick through a dumpster? Okay, I'm just gonna look. Yeah, just do it. No, it's just garbage. Okay, this one's locked up. Both of these are locked shut, so that won't work. Oh, hello, people trying to shop at Irwin. Halfway through the video, I forgot how to pronounce Erwan, and I started just saying Irwin. Who was that guy on Sweet Love Zack and Cody? Arwin? He was like the mechanic guy or whatever. That was just replaying in my brain. So it was mixing me up between Erwan and Arwin, and I started saying Irwin. Not sure. Why are there so many people? This has been like the most dead. Um, okay, so I can't speak to if they've ever thrown away food. I mean, clearly they have because it's in the review, but it's not today. It looks like the garbage has just recently been taken out, so can't say, but if you, they are doing that, stop. Give it to a shelter. I don't know when garbage day is, but it kind of seemed like the garbage had just been picked up because there was almost nothing in any of them. So I didn't see a bunch of produce. It would have been insane if I would have, but I did see a few reviews of this. If this is still happening, they need to get it together. But hopefully they saw that one star review and changed up what they were doing because that would be horrible. The final review, Adam said, insanely overpriced, bland food, better off going to McDonald's. I almost feel like they price things high to get attention because it's so absurd. For instance, I don't think that this smoothie needed to be that expensive. Even with cost of materials, I don't think so. But the fact it was so expensive got so many people talking about it on TikTok and on social media and everything. And then people want to try it to see if it was worth it. Whereas if they would have priced it at like $9, I wonder if it would have got as much attention. I don't it's crazy, like what if their entire marketing strategy is being outrageous? I buy these emergency and there's like vitamin C, a thousand milligrams. These are $60, the Irwin brand. That's crazy expensive. Scary. Honestly though, me and my mom did have a lot of fun just looking at the products because there was such weird stuff. <laughs> it's called fungus among us. <laughs> everything was laid out so so perfectly and you know I actually recognized a few brands I actually did take a picture of something I normally buy and I wanted to compare the pricing to see if Air One was just upping the price for no reason okay so this is tea I've gotten before it's yogi tea okay so at Target it's four dollars and 29 cents at Air One it was four dollars and 49 cents so 20 Sent premium at Air One. See, and that's kind of my theory. I feel like everything is marketed at a premium there. Everything. I don't know. I personally will not be shopping there, but the service was good, honestly. Everybody was nice to me. I saw a celebrity, which was kind of fun. I'm glad I went, and I'm glad I checked out these one-star reviews. I think all the reviews are pretty justified. Even if I had a different experience, I think they're justified. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed me being anxious in a luxury grocery store. I feel like the staff definitely knew we were up to something because we were acting very strange and weird, but anything for your entertainment. I guess that's the end of the video. <laughs> I have nothing else to say.